Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Loved, protected, and safe, I hope. Today's sermon is on Job 23. Job is a man that endured many trials and tribulations from God through Satan trying to keep him in his pit of destruction and how he never gave in to Satan's lies to keep him there. So let's get into the scriptures and then the explanation of them as it pertains to our lives today. Job 23, 1 through 17. Then Job answered and said, Even today my complaint is contentious. His hand is heavy despite my groaning. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might even come to his seat. I would present my cause before him and fill my mouth with arguments. I would learn the words which he would answer to me. And to understand what he would say to me. Would he contend against me with his great power? No, surely he would give attention to me. There the righteous and upright could reason with him, so I would be acquitted forever by my judge. Behold, I go forward to the east, but he is not there. I go backward to the west, but I cannot perceive him. To the left, north, he turns, but I cannot behold him. He turns to the right hand, south, but I cannot see him. But he knows the way that I take, and he pays attention to it. When he has tried me, I will come forth as refined gold, pure and luminous. My feet have carefully followed his steps. I have kept his ways and not turned aside. I have not departed from the commandment of his lips. I have kept the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. But he is unique and unchangeable, and who can turn him? And what his soul desires, that he does. For he performs what is planned, appointed for me, and he is mindful of many such things. Therefore I would be terrified at his presence. When I consider all of this, I tremble in dread of him. For God has made my heart faint, and the Almighty has terrified me. But I am not silenced by the darkness of these woes that fell on me, nor by the thick darkness which covers my face. Just as Job had issues finding God and God's favor in his life, so did I. It seemed that no matter how hard I tried, what I did or what I followed, nothing could bring me to him. Things in my life kept getting increasingly harder to deal with. Struggles came from every direction, and nothing I did or could do would stop this from happening. As I traveled through all of my lost years without God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I denounced them. I looked for other things to fill this deep void within me with whatever I could find pleasure in or avoidance of their truth. I used drugs, alcohol, sex, and entertainment of all types, and then came to the conclusion that God didn't exist. I instead said, it is just the universe. This is truly when all things turned for the worse in my life. Everything that came at me was negative, or so I perceived as such. However, I couldn't have been more wrong. It was God letting me go through these struggles. He allowed Satan to keep testing me in order to drive me back to him and Jesus Christ. This is what occurred through my trials and tribulations. I had finally hit my lowest point. I can endure without dying. I had given up on everything in my life. I stopped looking for God. I was basically just waiting for death while going through the motions of living. Then one night my kids were in trouble and I could do nothing about it. As I rushed to them, I cried out to God, literally driving through tears. I told God, I give up. I give you everything of me. I cannot do this on my own. I need your help. I'm not asking for myself. Just please, if you are real, save my kids. At that very moment is when God answered me. I was forgiven of my sins and my sinful ways by Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, then pulled from Satan's pit of destruction for my life by God. It would be another five years of slow progression to finally see God in action in my life as I had yet to encounter the rest of my struggles as I was being cleansed by God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit, to remove from me what is unclean and impure in their truth. When he finally revealed himself to me, I was shocked. I praised him with everything I had in me. I cried, thanking him for all he has done, is doing, and will continue to do for myself, my family, and everything in this world. Just as Job had come seeking God with a contentious heart, meaning coming to argue why he has lived the way he had, so did I. I did not realize God will not accept your prayers, cries, and definitely not your demands when you try to make him give you his favor on your terms of living. 
Instead, you must realize he will only come to you when you have a humble, contrite heart, which means you come seeking him on his terms of living, his truth, and he will never change his righteousness to appease you. He is the same now as he was before and is forever unchanging in his true, righteous truth and ways. They will come for you, save you, pull you from Satan's pit and set you on their path for your eternal life in their kingdom when you give everything of yourself to them with a humble, earnest, and contrite heart for them. They will give everything of themselves to you as you walk with them, being led by them and the Holy Spirit. They will restore, replenish, and make you anew in them by sanctification through the Holy Spirit. Never give up and never give in. Your best days and your blessed days are still ahead of you. My life and my son's life have made a complete 180 degree turnaround for the better. We have been reborn in Christ Jesus, becoming more Christ-like every day as we walk in their commands, laws, ways, words, and truth. Yes, we still experience struggles, but that is what strengthens your faith and trust in them. When you are weak, they are made strong in you. So keep searching and you will find them. Lean on them for everything. Wait patiently on their perfect timing for everything in your walk with them and you will never be disappointed do not rely on your own understanding as their ways and thoughts are not ours they are much higher and righteously made for our good and their good and glory always remember this is a step-by-step -step process and you need every step to make it through to defeat satan and his workers in this world this is not an overnight change but a gradual change in your thoughts words actions and way of living it gets easier becoming more clear to you by God through each step on his perfect timing, not when we think it's time. Remember, God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit, the angels and I love you all without question or reservation. May God's love, peace, grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, compassion, caring, kindness, patience, wisdom, protection, guidance, glory, goodness, corrections, truth, trust, favor, anointing, faithfulness, steadfastness, forgiveness, salvation, strength, endurance, clarity, courage, and calm, and everything good of them be with you, always guiding you through. Have a blessed day in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I love you all, and I will see you later.